Hi guys, I'm Mama Bear to Many. I am mom to 14 children. 12 of those children are still here at home with us. And today what I'm going to do is go through the areas that I need to go through before I make a shopping trip. So shopping is not exactly easy for us to just run to the store, especially with a lot of the products that we get. Um, we have to drive two hours one way to get to that store. So I want to make a good list, have a good plan, stick within budget, and that is what I'm doing today. I'm working on downsizing my freezers, first of all, so there's things that I need to um, use up first, and I'll show you that. So I have this big freezer here, and um, this freezer we just defrosted so that I could move some stuff over here. So I moved um, this section here over is freezer meals. So I wrote a list of the freezer meals that I do have. I have 10 bags of meatballs. I have, let's see, five chicken meals, three spaghetti sauces, two beef roasts that already have stuff in them so I can just dump them in the Instapot, one steak strip, uh, two beef roasts that are plain, which means I'd have to add like seasoning and stuff to them, um, one drumstick, two lamb curry, one rabbit stew, one lamb stew, one taco mix, one soup mix, two minestrone, and one buffalo wings. So that is what is right here in this stack there. So you will see a bunch of fish. So who keeps fish in their freezer with eyeballs in it? Yes, we do. So we had a really good year this year. Um, we had a really good year this year fishing and we canned, I think it was close to a hundred jars of, um, herring. So that would be our needs for our family of 14 for the year. So, um, what we did, the herring were running really, really well. So what we did was I grabbed, we went down one day and we just like dunked nets for literally like 10 minutes and we got over a hundred fish. That's like little kids doing it, not like big people. Um, and we put those in our freezer and we're using that to supplement our protein needs for our chickens, our dog, and our cat. So that is what that is. Underneath that here, I have some milk there. So now I have another freezer, which is our medium freezer. We have like a small, medium, and large freezer. This is our medium freezer. So this stuff in here is stuff that I want to use up over the next couple weeks. So the berries right here are actually um, my daughter's for making things. But the rest of the stuff in here is what I would like to use up over the next couple weeks. Underneath on the bottom here is some hamburger. That's our homegrown hamburger down there. We need to actually like turn this off and start to defrost it before that can come out because it's some of it's all chunked frozen in the edge. I like to put a piece of paper down and the piece of paper didn't end up. So the items that are in this freezer that need to get used up are two freezer bags of bacon, chicken chunks, which would have been, um, chicken chunks to me or just chicken whatever is basically rotisserie chickens or any type of chicken. And I boiled it down and taken the meat off of that and just thrown it in a bag. So that, and then we had um, six rotisserie chickens. You did not see them in the freezer because I brought all of those in the house and we will be eating off of those. We're gonna um, cook those tomorrow and I'll show you what I make off of those. I hope I can try to get that. And then let's see, we have liver, um, a thing of mozzarella ch cheese from when we had the cow in milk before that I wanna use up. Um, we have tongue, we have spring roll wrappers, onion, <laughs> I wrote onion sickles, um, and mashed potatoes were in the other freezer. I gotta move those over. Um, these are this. So this is oil and it has um, the onion tops. So I take my onion tops before my onions like go into a bulb 
and I'll take onion tops and I'll cut those down and then I'll put them in a food processor with some oil and then I put them into muffin tins, silicone muffin tins, and then pop them out and put them in the freezer. So I want to use those up before I start um, doing more of that this year. So those are the things that I want to use up and that of um, freezer goods. And then over here is what we call the small freezer and we have some other things in here. So what I will do is I will be working on using up this stuff here and then I'm going to make a list of what I have in my other freezer and that stuff right there I want to try to make mainly into freezer meals. I'll make, I'll have a day, I'll make those into freezer meals, I'll throw those into the big freezer and then most of my stuff is already into freezer meals or canned. Um, and then, so I'll just be running my big deep freezer and the other freezers will be empty and shut off and get defrosted until the time when we have our um, 100 meat birds that are growing out there. Then we'll plug the freezers back in and rotate through again. So that is what we're doing. So when I go to make a grocery plan, I have to know what's in my freezers, what I plan to be doing, what I'm needing. I'm Basically, I'm not shopping for meals. Basically, I'm just shopping to see, hey, what's empty? So I have all my home canned goods not in this area, um, but my home canned goods, I don't really restock. Um, so the only thing that's down, down with my home canned goods is um, peanut butter, really, that's an oil. All my oils are there as well. So this here is my, um, like all my baking good extras here. This is onion soup mix. It's kind of messy right now. Um, so what I'll do is I'll make notes of what I need in there. And then I'll make notes of what I need in here. I definitely need more gluten-free flour. Um, I ended up opening, I had a tote with it and that's what's left of the tote. So I need to refill my tote as well as this. I need to find a use for this peanut butter and make it a priority to use that. So I'll make a note that I need to do that. I bought it I bought that um, actually during like COVID and I was in hopes that I could make my own peanut butter because I was unable to find peanut butter. It just didn't come out the same to be honest with you. It it did not work. I tried a bunch of recipes and it just didn't work. And then this is all my extra spices here. And then over in this cabinet, I have my pasta. So this is all gluten-free pastas. And then my um, cooking spray is over there. And then up here I have some things, canned goods and that type of stuff. And then this is my rolly rack. I don't know the technical term. We call it a rolly rack. Um, so I'll look through this and say, hey, um, I'll write something like, Okay, let me see how many, you know, these are, I do not know why I have green beans here. I think that I must have gotten a sale because normally I only use home canned green beans. So I'm not sure why I have so many green beans there. So I will not be buying more of those because it's not something that I want to carry. Um, there should be, and that's what I'm looking for, there should be corn and peas. Okay, so peas I have not too much. I need more of the peas. And I think these two are actually, those three even might be my corn. Yeah, so each month I have one store be my focus for what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm trying to think back. Last month I just did Walmart. I know that. I did Walmart and like the local grocery store next door to Walmart. Um, I did those stores which is um, where I would get like my peas and my corn and that type of stuff. Um, that's what I did last month. The month before that, I did Sam's Club and BJ's. And so this month, it's almost like a three month rotation. Although I can stop into Walmart if I need a thing or two. Um, so 
this month is going to be the natural food health store um, that I'm going to have as my main focus. I actually called them this morning and I was so, so thankful. It was the Lord looking out for me because I have been in a pickle with the whole um, oats things. It cost, last time I bought oats, it was about $175 for 50 pounds. And I just called him and he said, oh, the price just went down and um, it would be like $42. So I ordered six bags. I'm so excited for that. So, so excited. I could not even explain to you because I keep like using up my food storage and I'm like, I don't want to use up my food storage. And I've been trying to look for like different recipes, but really oats still was cheaper at the $175, but yet it was more than I was used to paying. And yeah, you get my drift. I was getting really annoyed with the oats prices. Um, so I'm so super excited for that. Um, so that's what I'm thinking when I'm doing this is like what my main focus is. So I'm looking up here, seeing what I have. I need more ketchup, it looks like. Oh, maybe not because I have, this is supposed to be organized like by the row and it's really not. Um, I'm thinking of things that I can get at my health food store. So like this jar here is dehydrated things. So if I go to make a soup, then I would just, I could just add that into a soup. So a lot of that stuff back there is dehydrated stuff. I notice only one thing, this I buy in bulk, nutritional yeast from the health food store. So I'll put that on my list. Um, and then if I can get honey, let me see if I can get a better view of that. There is honey in the back here. There is some honey, um, but if I can get honey, that is something that I can get at the health food store. So I asked him to look up. He has somebody else orders the honey um, from a local guy in Maine, and I order a um, like a five gallon pail. So if I can get honey, then I will get honey from him. So I'll probably have quite a few larger purchases this month from the health food store. But I had to take like inventory of what I have. So I'm going through everything to see what I need to pick up. The only thing that I see that I definitely need would be that um, gluten-free flour. So over here we have black beans, chickpeas, popcorn, pinto beans. I have adzuki beans, which I love. Um, that's navy beans. So all my beans are in a tote here. So I had somebody write me a list of how much I have in there. Um, so if it's like half or less, then I'm going to restock that. Um, and if I had just a little bit, I may need to restock different beans. So I wrote all those down because I will restock those at the health food store because I can get organic beans at the health food store. Um, I am noticing too here that my boxed milks or boxed milk alternatives are really um, getting low here. So I need to reorganize that. The good thing is, is the other day I went to Dollar Tree. I thought that I was going to take longer. So I actually was in Dollar Tree because it was raining outside and I couldn't pick up pig food until five o'clock. And I noticed that they actually had some of the um, carton milk there. So I probably will get a little bit from Dollar Tree just to try to build that stock because I do use that as a backup. Is it organic? No. Is it perfect? No. Um, but it will work in a pickle and overall that's not my main source of what I am using. So it's more of a um, buying what you can within the amount that you can like your Okay guys, so basically what I was saying is that just to use your resources as God allows you to use them. He allows every family to have a different budget for their food and to just use that money as wisely as you can in order to bless your family. Um, so basically that is it. I went through the, I sometimes go in the cabinets in my house, but really a lot of this stuff is all being pulled from the garage. And if I am low in the cabinets of my house, and we go out there and there's one left, then we'll write it on the board. So I already have a list on my board on what I need to buy. And that is it. I go through my stuff and I restock everything. And almost everything um, I make would 
be able to be made with the things that I have. So I hope this video blesses you and I hope you all have a blessed day. If you like this type of video, please give us a thumbs up and we'll see you later.